Welcome all. Today in this video, I'm going to tell you that how you can test different type of REST API using Postman. So in this video, one by one, we will learn that how you can test the get method based REST API, how you can test the post method based REST API, how you can test the put method based REST API, and how you can test the delete method based REST API. Uh, so in this video, I'm assuming that uh, Postman is already installed in your machine. So I will go to my machine and just open this Postman. So uh, now Postman, uh, you can say I have uh, downloaded this Postman uh, stand alone application. So I just open this, uh, you can say Postman uh, tool. And then in Postman, you will get option here. You will get option new collection. So here you can create a collection, new collection. And here I'm giving the name of my collection. You can say my, uh, my REST APIs. Okay, I'm just giving a collection here, REST API. Okay, now you can uh, simply, you can, uh, uh, you can uh, create different type of APIs here. Okay, so here you can say this is my REST API. And after that, whenever you want to test any API, you can add different type of request here, add a request here. So for testing purpose, I am already using uh, APIs, which is developed by me and which is already deployed on my machine. Uh, this is the document. This is document which is providing every detail about my API. I have two APIs on uh, get based, which is giving you the detail of all students and uh, get a student by ID. Same. I have a uh, uh, REST API on the base of delete method. I have the API on the basis of post method and I have also API based on the put method. So one by one, I will tell you that how you can test it using your postman. So first of all, under your collection, click on add request. Okay, you will click on add request. So by default, you will see it is showing you get new request. So here you can give the any name of your request. Uh, for example, I'm giving you a, a, a uh, first API I want to test from my document that is get all students. Okay, so I will just give the name, uh, give the name. You can see I will just give the name. Get all students. So this is all already you can say uh, developed API on my machine. Uh, so I'm just using it. Okay, so here you can say get all students. Now, uh, by default, it is using the bat method, get method. So in this drop dropdown, uh, by default, it is selected. So in our case, uh, for the first API, we need a get method. So we have put it here. Second is that this is, you can say, the URL of my API. So let me copy it from here and go to your postman. And here you have to give in the URL six. I have put it here. Okay, now for the get method, for the get method based API, you have to only give the get method you have to select from this drop down that is already selected and here you have to give the url now simply click on send when you click on send you will see it will give you the response if you will give you the response and you will click on this so below you will get in the body section you will get the detail here you can see uh in uh, my api is actually returning different type of student which is uh available in my database here you can say it is returning one student detail in the same way you can scroll it and you can see it is returning the detail. So get based API is very, very simple. Uh, you can uh, in this API, you have just used the get method and you have passed the URL. This is the thing. Now, second, I will tell you what you can do here. Uh, we can add one more request. So click on it and you can say add request. So in add request, this time I'm going to use, I'm going to test the second API that is get student by uh, ID. Okay, so what am I go, uh, going to do it here? So let me first of all edit the name. I will say get a student by ID. Okay, so I'm using this one. Okay, so now for this case, uh, just go and check what is the requirement. You have to use get method that is already selected. And this is the URL here you can see. In this URL, you will see especially one thing you will see here. Uh, what you will see here, just go here, enter the URL. And the last you will see after slash, it is saying that we have to pass some ID. You have to pass some ID if you want to get some detail of a student on the base of ID. So here you have to curly braces ID means you have to pass some parameter here. So we can pass the ID uh, uh, for which we want to get the details. So let from the get all the students, uh, I'm interested to get the details of this student. So let me copy this ID from here and the get student by ID, I'm passing it here. So here you can say I'm passing it here, simply here. Again, it is very simple. We are passing the parameter and it is called, it is called path parameter. So I part 22 and click on send. You can see here in the response body, we are able to get the 
you can see detail of the particular student that is for the id 22 so this is ve again very simple now again i'm going to tell you another that is most important that is very very uh, most important most of the time people face some problem in uh, using that api that is post based api so for that purpose let me click on it and i'm going to add one more request add request here I am going to test which one. Let me show you from the URL. So this is the post method, method based API. So in post method, first of all, you have to select the post thing here. And this is the URL. So let me copy the URL here. Now go to your postman. You are going to test the post based API. So first of all, select from the drop down post method. First thing. Second thing, you have to paste the URL here. I paste the URL. Now just go and check it. What the else? Uh, else uh, thing you have to set in your request. Now you can see in the post method, basically the purpose of post based API to create some data, to save some data in your application, in your database. So in this case, I want to store the data of, uh, you can say some student here. So uh, this is the, you can say, uh, this is the test data for the, you can say for creating the student record in the database. So I will go and I will go to the body part. Just go here and you will see it is a body part. Go to the body part. Just click on raw and here you can paste the, this data. Okay. So it is showing the data here. Let me do one thing. Uh, I'm going to uh, just change uh, the uh, data value so that you can find it easily whether it is creating or not. So let me choose the is 45. I'm just choosing the name Manish Sharma. And let me take the example uh, in case of JMeter. Let me take the example of Postman. So here you can say uh, in again, I'm telling you what you have to do in it. Let me save it. Okay. So uh, what you have to do in post based API, first of all, you have to select the post method from the drop down first requirement. Second, you have to put the URL here. Okay. And third thing is that select the body part and the body part, you have to place the test data here. So currently I'm using the API, which is XML based. So that's why you're able to see this is the XML based data. Uh, in the uh, in the upcoming video, I will show you that how you can test the JSON based API also. That is similar that what is the difference that I will tell you in the upcoming videos. Now, Go, what is another requirement in post base? Whenever you are passing some data in the body, it is mandatory that you will go to the content part. Do you will go to the header part? In the header part, you have to paste a key. You have to paste a key that is very mandatory and that is content type. You will see there is a content type. You have to select this one content type. So the, uh, the value of the content type you have to give application here you will get the options here so here we have to select the option applications slash xml you can uh, just use it so just check is there any option where you are getting application slash xml yes you are getting this one so if you are using the uh, rest api which is using the json based data like you can see i told you in this api which i'm using it is supporting a it is supporting the xml so that's why you are passing the xml data here if your api support the json format then in that case in the body you will you are going to paste the json based data and the header section you will write content type equal to application slash json that you will get it here so now these things are important again i'm saying that which things are important you have to set the method as post you have to give the url in the body you have to paste the body data in the header section you have to write content type application slash xml okay why i'm uh, why i'm using the xml because my data is my api, API support the xml now click on send and you will see you will get the response or not now you can see here i'm getting the response in the body like message student added successfully with the below id and you can say this is the id you want to verify reality is working fine so we can do one thing just go to your get student by id Okay, and here you can pass this ID here. Okay, let me paste it here and now just send it and see that you are getting the same data. Yes, you can see here. Here also when you are passing the ID 3017, you are getting the same detail 3017-45 money sermon postman. So in this way, you can test the is you can test the postman uh, post based API. So let me edit the name of this so you can uh, you can say easily identify create student. Create student, you can say, okay, let me simply say it. Now, after post, I'm going to tell you that how you can use the put based API, put based API. So for that purpose, first of all, let me click on this one. Let me click on this one. I'm going to say add request. So again, let me go to the my document and I will show you that uh, which API I'm going to test it. So this is the update student. If you want to update the detail of any student, you can use put based API. OK, so here method is post. So just copy the you can say this URL here. OK, now go to your postman. In the postman, uh, first of all, what is the requirement? The method will be put. 
here you will pass the paste the url again i'm saying that in the url you are able to see that it is expecting id in the curly braces means you have to pass it with the some data so i will do one thing whatever data i have created in my last uh, you can say in my last request post same data i'm going to update it here so here i will go and pass the id here okay so in this case let me do one thing in the post i got in the get stream id i already got the data okay so let me copy it here from here okay so let me copy it from here and go to your this part so this is my data so input based api also you have to go to the body part and then you have to go to the raw part and here you have to paste the data so this is the id you have to pass the id here so uh, you have to pass the id here so id don't need to be passed here you can see here id is not required uh, you can go here and check here in my this sample student uh, you can see structure i'm passing the age name and subject because id is already i'm passing in the url so i don't need to pass it okay so let me go to here so i'm just passing this structure this is a structure this is the expected body data so you want to change some data like i want to update the age is i want to make it 45 uh but i want to update the name instead of manish sharma i want to make it manish verma v-e-r-m-a so you will see i'm updating the data one data i'm updating that is manish verma uh, and uh, second, you can update instead of uh, postman, I'm just writing subject is postman API. Okay, so let me say postman API or postman testing. So let me write it here. So you will see currently I have just, uh, you can say update this data. Second thing is that in post, put based API also, you have to use a, a header. Whenever you are passing any data in your body, you have to use this content type. And content type is totally based on what type of data you are using. I'm using, again, I'm using xml data so i'm using xml application slash xml you can see here if i'm using the json data we are going to use the this one so this is the requirement so now you can see again go and check it this is the body and i have updated the data for id 3017 45 money sermon postman so let me send it and you will see it is working or not so here you can say this is updated properly you want to recheck just see here 45 is that Manish Sharma is the name and the postman testing subject is updated. You want to double check, you can do anything. Why don't you go to the this get us from my ID? Here you are passing 3017. Previously, it was giving the response, this one. So let me send it again. Now you can see this time we are getting that updated response. ID 301745 Manish Sharma and postman testing. So in this way, you can test the put based API. Now the last one I'm going to tell you that is delete based API. So let me go to here and you will see I have API this one. So I will do one thing. I will delete the same record here. So you can see here when you want to test the delete based API again, the method is read and this is the URL. So let me copy it from here. Let me go to the postman. I'm going to again click on this three dots and going to add a request. Add request. This time I'm going to select the method I'm going to. So first of all, here you can update delete student delete student okay so i've just give the name delete to student now i will select the method here delete here i will put the url then so here i want to again which student detail i want to delete i have to pass the url so i will do one thing why i'm going why uh i'm just using the same id here so that you can see that uh recently in the same uh, video i have created the record then i updated the record then i'm going to last i'm going to delete it so i'm passing it here only okay so now in delete you have to use the delete method and you are don't you don't need to do anything else so let me send it you can see here i'm getting the response uh, student deleted successfully 3017 and you want to again reach verify you can do one thing what you can do just go to the get student by id and again send it and just see what you are getting the response oh you are getting the response failure sorry this id do not exist why we are getting because currently in this you can say in delete student by id i have just you can say delete that record okay so why did not swing the uh, delete here because i have not saved it just save it now you can see here. So today we have learned it that how you can call the get based API, how you can call the post based API, how you can call the put and how you can call the delete based API. Okay. So I hope you have uh, understand that basically how we can test different type of API using the postman. If you are interested to learn the postman in detail means you want to learn everything from the scratch like how you can install the how you can install the postman then how you can create a different type of api in the detail how we can uh, set some other features of the postman like you can set the environment variables also you can pass the parameter you can make a connection between these api so if you want to learn these things just put in the comments so that i am going i will create a complete series of it okay and if you like the video please 
comment on the video and click on the bell icon so that you will be aware about about my upcoming videos thank you have a nice day